going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Roll to 20k by the end of this year. That's my goal. I'm gonna jump into Logic, play a few keys, get the jams down, some 808s, bass, whatever it is that I feel is necessary to make this beat. So let's dive in. Right, so I've got this pattern. I'm gonna quit it, airdrop it to myself, drop it in the session, and then just build off of that. So before we go any further, I'm gonna shout out my two newest subscribers, Shah Easter and Santos Montana. Thank you for subscribing, I appreciate that. And for my favorite comment that goes to Jared Smith, appreciate the engagement. I'm always glad to help, so yeah, shout out those three. Let's get back into the video. So hopefully that little loop that I recorded in my voice note will line up, but if it doesn't, no matter, we can just still use that as an idea to go off. I think the BPM for this one is gonna be 105 BPM, so we'll go with that. Mm. It's off, but it doesn't matter, we can still use that. So what I like to do is have pre-made drum patterns in Ultra Beat. I'll do a video on that, just showing you how to set it up. So anytime you upload, or anytime you're about to create, you don't have to mess around, you just have like a ready-made pattern there for you, and just go in there and make changes. It will speed up your process so much and just help you to get your ideas down really quick. I'm just going to chop the end off here, use my marquee tool, highlight that, command R, and that will give you another region of what's just been played. There's a beat that Fanatics made, it's a, gig, a gigs track, and they've got some uh, snaps in there that goes tick, tick, tick. So I'm going to try and incorporate that in there because I like, I like how they've done that. So that's what I do, I listen to beats, I listen to other songs and pick out little things and think, yeah, I can use that in my beat. And that's what you should do as well. Okay, I'm gonna take out that snap there and put another snare just there. I wonder if some 16th nut hi-hats will work on this, let's try it. Let's just mute the tambourines for now. So I'm gonna keep it simple, similar to the U beat that I made, the Dave type beat. It seems like the artists appreciate when the beat's just left open and simple, so I'm just gonna do that for this beat. Let's see what we've got in the way of some 808s. I'm gonna try a different bass line instead of the 808s. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that bass line and play a bit more of a, a melody with the bass.
Yeah, I like that. So I'm saying I'll add in a little bit of a cat in the melody. I'm gonna find a sound that I'm vibing with and then just play something in. So one more thing I want to add in there is a bit of a voice sample, just to lift it a little. So I'm just, I just chopped out the sample quickly, and I'm going to put these two notes in the EXS24 and just trigger that from there. So to do that highlight, and then go to convert to new sampler track. So I'm going to do that little bit of the word try, I'm going to lengthen it in the XS24, that way I can play different notes with it. I like that. I know I said I'm going to leave it simple for the artist, but it's just a little, little bit of like air candy that's built a beat. No, I actually like how that beat turned out. I think the vocal, the vocal sample that I used, saying try, just gave it a different feel. It was good already, but I feel like the vocal thing just took it to the next level. I could have just structured it now, but I like to get my ideas down and then go back to it with fresh air sort of thing. And if I'm still feeling it the way I'm feeling it now, then I know that's a decent beat. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram. I'm always dropping little hints, tips and tricks on my stories and just behind the scenes of what I'm up to in here in the studio and yeah if you like this video at all hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video usually I appreciate your time